Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Sean Stackhouse Reacts. I hope you guys are doing well. As you can see right down here, we are on a journey to 5,000 subscribers, guys. We're at 4,422, and uh, I would like to get there by September 1st. So we have 98 days left to go. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, click all so you're going to get all of the notifications when we upload videos. I would really, really appreciate it. Now, uh, I did a reaction to uh, the warning song Choke the other day, the official music video, but it's in limbo, you know, YouTube limbo right now uh, with copyright stuff. Everybody else was able to get their video up, but not me. So somebody recommended that I do the live version from their, their practice space. So let's react to the warning Choke live. And look at all those bass guitars. I won't survive the fall. It's a killer riff. harmonies man Powell's going crazy I love it And check out Danny's pedal board. That is awesome. Of course, she's got the orange amps behind her. She's got the delay going on that. I love it. That drum riff was killer. I love the bass line too. Three part harmony. Nice, Ali, Ali, uh, Ali. Sorry, I know I'm not pronouncing her name right. Someday. Very cool. I don't know what it switched over to, but so anyway, what um, what strikes me about this is that uh, 
even as a three piece, the original the original uh, song is very layered guitar wise. There are probably about four or five guitar tracks. So, and as a three piece, they can only do so much, and and they perform this song really, really, really well. But it, it misses some of that extra guitar that is in the actual recording and i noticed that that pal has a computer uh back there on, on on her drums i know she's had it before but uh what they could do and what i would suggest what a lot of major bands do like def leppard they fly in the parts that they can't play live so they play to a click track my band does this as well um you play to a click track and then you, you have a program that your uh, tracks, they basically they're, they're flown in. So all of the other guitar parts would be there as well. And I think, I think it would just be um, a better show, a, a more, a, a fuller sound, which this song definitely needs because the three piece all of their stuff in the past has sounded just perfect as a three piece, but on, on, uh, this song, they are going a little deeper into, uh, into the rabbit hole when it comes to like tracking and, and that's really good. That's what you're supposed to do as a musician. But, um, I love it. I love it. My, like I said, my only suggestion would be to play to a click track and fly those parts in for a guitar that you can't play live. And I think it would be fantastic. I mean, it'd blow people away. And I've, I've read in comments that, uh, they're starting to sound a little bit like hailstorm. And I admit the original recording, the actual audio from the album um, does sound a bit like Hellstorm, but that doesn't surprise me since uh, Lizzie and um, and uh, the ladies from The Warning um, are kind of buds. You know, they're gonna they're gonna eventually tour together. Which, whew, that's gonna be a show. But uh, yeah, I thought this was a great performance. Hopefully, YouTube will let it go through. Let me know what you guys think down below. And um, until then. Take care. This is me hugging you over the airwaves. Mm. 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 <laughs> you feel that?